Well hello there and welcome to issue number 58 and um, this issue is all about the Taurus dog and as you can see from the caption beforehand um, those are the dates you have to be to fall into this eastern and western astrological combination um, if anyone was born uh, 12 years previous uh, to the first date I've put up and you want to know if you are this um, this uh, combination then just drop me an email or just write on my wall there and I will confirm any dates whether it's for your grandparents or or um, one of your great uncles or something like that anything like that and um, feel free to just drop me a line anytime anyway let's get started so what have we got we've got the Taurus in the Western combination and we've got the dog in the Eastern well as you can imagine um, the dog is ever watchful um, and it's always on guard and um, they're quite tough cookies and pushed together with the uh, Taurian what we tend to have is a very very solid character um, one that will dig their heels in and one that will um, be ultra stubborn I mean we know Taurians are stubborn that is, uh, you know, that's a given, and uh, some are more stubborn than the others, but this one is definitely up there in the stubborn stakes, um, and um, that's how it characterises themselves. You know, they'll be starting school, you'll notice at a very young age that um, they will dig their heels in, um, and whereas a dog is very justice orientated, uh, you, they want fairness for their friends, everybody around them. Um, this combination tends to be a little bit more for themselves what's um, maybe their particular likes and their particular uh, dislikes um, they're not one to go with the flow <coughs> and you know this is characterised by you know they'll be standoffs with teachers um, very often standoffs with siblings and parents it's not an aggressive stance don't get me wrong because this is an aggressive combination this is a very dogmatic, um, tough combination, but it's not one that's going to um, be in rages uh, and, and, and attack and things like that. Um, tend to probably only, um, you know, defend themselves when necessary and as a last resort. But they will dig their heels in, they voice their opinion, and it's very difficult uh, for them to see other people's point of view sometimes um, and to the point of where uh, if you don't like their opinion or you're not of their opinion uh, you know then you're not worthwhile talking to or you're not worth while associating with they tend to like to keep to their um, soul friends as it were they might have a, a tight cluster a tight cluster of friends where there might be three or four in the group and they'll be known as you know and that's that's strong that's but there won't be a lot of people able to get into this and this will carry through into high school and all the way through um, into university these are very hard workers um, and they will put in hours they will put in serious hours um, they do it complain in mind they will complain they'll have a little kick up a fuss saying oh you know my work conditions aren't fantastic but but they'll always be there they'll be putting in overtime as well um, and now we come into the problem with closer relationships yes they have a tight bunch you know of friends um, which will be hard to penetrate they're not very good at meeting new people uh, that's uh, you know goes a little bit contrary to the Taurian who can be quite easy to talk to and, and, and normally generally very friendly but there's a bit more of a standoffish character with them and a bit more of a confrontational um, argumentative side that tends to frighten uh, not so much frighten but deters um, deters people in their company or to join their company and they're quite like that because they like to know where they are they don't like um, confusion they like their routine so somebody coming into their setup who they haven't met before or you know who might just be having a bit of banter with or things like that it doesn't sit very well with them because it's it's 
you know, out of their routine, they're very creatures of habits, um, and uh, they find it very difficult to switch jobs. Um, that's a massive win for them because, you know, they will stay somewhere unhappy and just for the paycheck and just to get, you know, that they're doing something that they're, you know, they feel important to themselves. You know, there'll be complaints, there'll be some uh, few arguments with the governors and maybe some work colleagues, but, you know, you could always count on this person very rarely uh, uh, having days off being ill. Um, you know, the bosses will really appreciate this worker deep down as well, you know, they'd be, they'd like quite a few of these in their team. So, um, confrontational, yes. Boss material, no, um, due to the fact that um, they won't be easily approached. Um, they don't lack sympathy, the Tory and Dog, and this is the, this is the quirky thing about it, but they're just hard to approach. And I think uh, that the, the, it's very difficult for people maybe to speak of um, the sensitivities or their problems because they find them quite hard to approach um, you know and that's something that the Taurus dog aura you know they give this off they can't help it um, they're a little bit of a rough diamond as I say so you have to take these quirks and these uh, you know rough with smooth parts um, but if you are in their close circle of friends and um, some people will be lucky enough to be in there um, they make excellent friends and they'll be, you know, like the dog personality, they'll be friends till they die, you know, um, they take it very seriously, friendships, and, um, you know, that will be majorly important to them. If we come to their relationships, the, the, the strange thing about this as well is the Taurian dog can be treated very badly and not walk away from um, bad relationships. They find it quite impossible to do so. Um, they really do need to be uh, shown the door, so to speak, um, and they can put up with years of, um, you know, just real bad treatment. They're having a little grumble, but they just get up that next day, uh, the following day, and they just carry on. Um, sometimes think they've got such a, you know, they've got such a thick skin, but really this is just their nature. They, they couldn't break the routine. That could be in 10, 15 years of unhappiness, but to stop it would break a routine, so to speak. So, um, you know, that's what we're looking at here. So if I can get the tourist dog onto the right partner um, early enough to avoid um, what is ultimately, uh, you know, the, the, the pattern of their life, um, then that will be fantastic. Um, and as I say, it's quite strange because they aren't unsympathetic and they're not uh, insensitive either um, but um, when it comes to looking after themselves in that sense they tend not to they tend to know well bet the devil you know prod 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 their partners end up probably cheating on them or or doing something very very drastic to get rid of them because you know you know these could be kind of stalking etc etc um, rather than change their habits. Okay, so let's get Torian's dog on to the right partners where they're going to be respected and they're going to be treated well and they can feel, you know, um, that sense of gentleness. They need to feel that gentleness in them because they are in a relationship they, they're capable of being very caring, one of the most caring um, signs we can have available and they're not hot-blooded you know, you're not going to be talking about mad passion, it's, uh, you know, uh, down on the beach, etc. But you're going to be talking about somebody, you're always going to be in their thoughts, you're going to get little messages of um, sincerity, you're going to get someone who thinks to do those little things, and you'll think, what, you know, such a kind hearted soul. Um, you know, once you get to know them, this, I've got to stress this, you really have to, you know, <coughs> pull the spikes out if you like of the skin take the strip the skin down a little and really get to know and the kindness and the compassion they're all there and I say a very very um, compassionate combo there's one of the best so let's find them the right match well the right match for the Taurian dog um, well we're going to look into the tiger family because the tiger family 
will have that little bit of unpredictability to get the dog out of routine, um, loosen them up a bit, um, also give them that patience in the love making stakes and um, cajole them along, which this is a wonderful partner for the, for the dog, really is, and plus they both like justice, so um, they very happily look out for each other and stick up for each other when the other one's not there. They, they will look for justice and, and they have their own set of rules between them, but they will be of a good value and a good standing. So let's look at uh, Virgo Tigers, we should look at Capricorn Tigers, we should look at Piscean Tigers, and also Cancerian Tigers, all fantastic matches. And we also have to go to the horse family, the little bit of unpredictableness of the horse, adds that little bit spice from the routines, but also with the horse, um, then start needs things, um, the dog, you know, will put up with those bits of these things, you know, sometimes the horse can be hard to read, unpredictable as we say, and the moods can fluctuate ever so, ever so often, you know, and, and wildly, but the dog will just brush that aside, and the horse finds someone that truly understands them then, so there's a great compatibility there. So let's look at Cancerian horses, the Goan horses, Capricorn horses, and Pisces horses. Wonderful, wonderful matches. Um, if we look at the ones to avoid, well, for all dogs, is dragons. Um, this is no exception. Um, absolutely no go uh, if you're ever thinking about embarking on that or are embarking on that. I would save yourself a lot of heartache, in my personal opinion. Um, because, you know, this really is a major no-no. Um, Health-wise, well, as we know, the dog can be a very deep thinker, prone to depression, and the taurines, nice little sense of humour there, just breaks it up a bit, so they don't tend to think as heavily as the other dogs, um, that hearty sense of humour and that, and, and, that, and that ability to laugh at themselves a little bit um, lessens that a bit. But they've still got to be careful of, 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 of you know, putting stress on themselves. Also, it's, it's, it's prone to stress. So just be careful of that. Make sure you do have that laughter. But I'm sure the tourists will kick in and make that happen. And they'll have a good old chuckle and um, not take themselves so seriously. Which, you know, can only be beneficial to this combination. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed this issue. But please tune in for the next one. Thank you.